Dining out can be a really enjoyable experience. Whether you're eating out to celebrate an occasion or you want to try a new restaurant or cuisine, there's something really nice about being able to leave the kitchen and go to a restaurant. However, if you're trying to eat healthy, a lot of times it can be quite challenging. Now, a lot of national chain restaurants have started putting the nutrition facts on the menus, but a lot of times those are being underestimated by calories in the hundreds of calories. It's scary to think that you could consume an entire day's worth of fat and calories in one meal when dining out. So the next time you dine out, think of these three things. The first is the FISH 411. Now, eating seafood is a very healthy thing to do for your diet. It's a great lean source of protein. However, a lot of the seafood here in the United States is actually imported from other countries, which have little to no regulations against food safety. Did you know less than 2% of all fish imported is actually inspected? And not just that, a lot of seafood on the menu is actually mislabeled. Think of white tuna on a sushi menu. As it turns out, white tuna, the fish, doesn't even exist. It's really escalar, which is also snake mackerel. And for a lot of people, it can really upset their tummies. So the next time you're dining out, don't be afraid to ask a couple of questions about seafood. One is, are my scallops really scallops? Is the fish imported or is it domestic, fresh or frozen? And how much mercury content is in the fish? Don't be afraid to ask up. It's what you're gonna be putting into your body after all. The second is important if you have issues or sensitivity to gluten. Now, if you're doing that because of health reasons or you seriously suffer from celiac disease, it's important to know how your restaurant kitchen handles any sort of contamination. It's important to find a restaurant that's been certified by a celiac support group, so feel free to ask your server that. But if it hasn't been, don't be afraid to ask questions about how they manage any sort of contamination. Are different pots used when being cooked? Is the grill cleaned after every single time? That's important because you don't want to be eating anything that's been in contact with food that does contain gluten. There's a whole wealth of health issues there. And the third thing is don't be afraid to speak up from the beginning. If you have serious dietary issues, don't be afraid to call the hostess before you go to the restaurant or when you sit down, ask your server, can I get the veggies steamed without the cheese sauce? Does the chicken come grilled instead of fried? A lot of times at restaurants, chefs will be willing to work with you and make those substitutions. And you're not out of the woods if you're eating low calorie or light dressings. Ask to read the ingredients label. A lot of times low calorie food actually is filled with a ton of scary sugar additives. So ask to read the label. If you can't read the label, then you don't wanna be eating it anyways. So just keep these tips in mind next time you're dining out. It doesn't have to be a scary experience, but it also doesn't have to be a calorie bomb either. For more information and to see other videos like this, be sure to like us on Facebook, or you can find us online at thealternativedaily.com.